Hi guys, another video here by your girl, Miss Michaela Morgan of the Michaela Show. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about cis privileges and how trans people are treated like second hand, they're just treated like second class citizens because I'm sure that um, I'm not the only one here, but I've had loads of creepy messages, mainly from Asian men calling me she male tranny or getting dick pics and um yesterday i got a 24 hour post block because one of my other trans female friends got a dick pic from um, a cis guy and i replied that cis guys are so gross and i got clubbed with hate speech now i'm sure as you all know Cisgender, or rather cis, it means you identify as a gender that you're born as. So, a woman born, fe born female, identifies as a female, is a cis female. Same as cis guys. I'm at the total opposite end of the gender spectrum to them, because I was born male at birth, and I've now, and I've now living full-time as a female. I'm not I'm not been wearing any makeup lately because of um the UK's back in lockdown and it's gonna be ending on the second of December. I'm on Saturday just gone I started month nine and hormones and now I could really start to see the changes coming to effect. It just really annoys me how um me and other train me and I've me and any other trans woman, we get labelled with hate speech for calling against cisgender against cisgender males. And the more they keep on saying us, because I've even had porn sent to me in my DMs on Facebook, I've been, I've had people I don't know of making memes about me, and I know there's two. And um, I've been called she male tranny, and I was told it like a guy, which I'm not even hit a year on hormones yet. My boobs are still growing, which um, now I've started month nine, they really are starting to take shape. And if I go down to my chest, um, there's a there's ridge, there's like um, a ridge coming, which where my cups are forming. I've got no idea at this stage what size I will end up once I hit. I think it's three or four years that um, a puberty lasts for. I'm not too sure because. Because I only came out two and a half years ago, I've already gone through male puberty, and so testosterone has done its damage to me. And um, I've got to train my voice and everything because um, testosterone does a lot of damage to you. Um, I'm just annoyed at the double standards that Facebook do nothing about it when guys just um, they send us porn or we get dick pigs or. She males or trannies, which frustrates the hell out of me. And I know I'm not the only other trans girl who gets this. It's just double standards. It's like, why do cis people get all the privilege and we get lumbered with fighting against about what they say? I've had also had problems on both Facebook and Instagram where... Um, there's mainly people in their 50s or 60s claiming to be a sugar daddy and they basically want sexy pictures for them just to wank over which really frustrates me because people think because I identify as a girl and I've got this from my own father that um, I want to go out with boys which i said many times before and it's all been documented it's been well documented that um, Gender and sexuality is very different. I mean, the way that I look at it is that gender is who you go to bed as, sexuality is who you go to bed with. And I know lots of other trans women who's had problems with chasers and all that and just seen us as um, a fetish or a pretty fuck. And we don't want nothing to do with them. I mean... I'm just a gay SF trans girl and that's all I want to be known. I mean, 
all my, all my, I've got, I've got um, male friends and they treat me with respect. They don't dead name me or misgender me or anything. It's just um, guys on the street and um, they just come back from the shop now and um, I've had people giving me hooters and giving me a load of abuse and I was wearing full, full makeup and um, I do get really frustrated about when I asked what my previous name was, which is unimportant because I'm not him. I never thought myself as a he or a him since I was seven when I definitely knew that I really am a girl because um, when I was seven, I knew that um, I wanted to transition. I felt so awkward being forced to live as a guy, but because it was back in the 90s, I honestly thought I was the only kid like this and um, miserable throughout school. I was called gay quite a lot at school because I did not associate with the boys at all. I only associated with the girls and in fact um, the amount of male friends I had back at school I could count on one hand. I never ever got on with the guys. I always wanted to be with the girls because I, I associated, associated with them better and <clears throat> I've had members of my family, which I'm not naming any names, that are saying that, oh, me doing ballet does not make me female. Because um, when I started doing ballet back when I was seven, I was the only boy at my dance academy then doing ballet. And I, it's fucking so hard. I mean, if I, I knew that um, if I came out when I was at school, the bully would be a lot worse and my family would say that um, you only keep, you don't know yourself. So, um, yeah, um, when lockdown ends, I'm going to start doing more fancy makeup. I know I've been promising you for quite a while, but because of lockdown, I've not really been going out much. I've only been going out when I need to, really, and so um, I haven't really bothered. And my face is looking more feminine now. I know there's going to be a bit of a shadow because I've got um, a light behind me because um, the lights on the ceiling don't work. I think I need new light bulbs. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give my video a thumbs up. Leave a comment section down below. And um, I will start doing more fancy makeup because... Um, Loads of people in town have seen me wearing my fancy makeup and they quite like it, which um, they know, a lot, a lot of my friends know I'm now a qualified hair and media makeup artist and so, um, so um, yeah, um, I do want to start doing some a bit of theatre work. So um, anyway guys, this is Miss Michaela Morgan of The Michaela Show. Much love to you wherever you may be in the world. I'll speak to you very soon. Alright, bye everyone. Bye.